Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys all my main speed cubes that I use as of today. So we're going to start with 2x2, two two, and I use the Diane 2x2. Two two. It's really smooth, and really fast. And I have a stickerless core in here, and it is competition legal to use it. So, um, I had it from a stickerless Diane cube that seemed to turn better, the other one was a bit stiffer. So I decided to put it in this, and I got really good times with it. So now, with this cube, I get about 5-6 seconds on it. I should probably practice a little more and learn some more stuff about it. But yeah, that's what I get on 2x2. Two two. So that's that. I have tried some other 2x2s, two two, like the Wit 2. and I didn't really like the Wit 2, by the way. Okay, 3x3. Three three. I use a Moyu Way Long version 1, not version 2. It's so good. And, um... It's really fast, it t suits my turning style, it corner cuts and everything, and I get about 16 seconds on this right now, I should practice a little more, but yeah, that's um, what I have for 3x3, three three. so yeah, I'd highly recommend this cube, and the cube I use for one handed is a 50mm Zanchi. Now, um, this cube is really good. Corner cuts, and this is, it's just the right size for my, for one-handed. Like, the 52 millimeter was just too small, but I do really good with this for one-handed. And, um, the, and also, the other ones are just too big for my hands. But this one's just right for one-handed. So, yeah. And, um, I'd highly recommend getting this one for one-handed. So yeah, there's that. Okay, and now 4x4. Four four. I use a Moyu Aosu 4x4. Four four. It's really fast. It doesn't pop very easily. Corner cuts, it rarely ever locks up if it even does. Um, the only way it would lock up or pop is if I did some extreme corner cutting. But I really cut probably only that much, you know. But yeah. It really suits my turning style. I would recommend using this one um, over the waist too, because the waist too popped a little bit, and it wasn't as fast. But yeah. So yeah, it's four x four, and I'd highly recommend this four x four. All right, five x five. I use a VQ five. This one is really fast, and um, you might be saying the VQ isn't that good, but. For this one in particular, it's really good. Corner cuts. It doesn't really reverse corner cut, and um, I might want to Florian mod it, you know, but I'm not very good at modding. If there's somebody else that would Florian mod, that'd be good. But yeah, that's what I have for 5x5. Five five. And um, for, for V-Cube, um, I don't know what the person that I that um, did to this one from who I bought it from, but it, whatever it was, it was really good because it's really fast. So yeah, it's 5x5, five five, and my backup is a Shang Shao. Now, this one is not as fast. It's quite slow. So yeah, it's slower. As you can see, it does corner cut, but not nearly as much as you'd want it to. And for reverse, it reverse cuts a little bit. The V-Cube could have that improved. So yeah, that's what I use for 5x5. Five five. And now 6x6. Six six. Probably, as you guessed it, it's a Shang Shao. I have a V cube, but it just will not stop falling apart on me. No matter what I do, no matter how tight I get it, it just won't fall apart. But I think it's because I'm using um, the wrong springs in it. I'll try to fix it. But anyway, the Shang whoa, the Shang Shao six by six. Um, it does pop quite a bit. It's decently fast, but it's just not um the best six by six. And there's not really a good six by six out there right now. I heard Moyu might be coming out with one, and if they do, that'd be really nice to have another 6x6. So, yeah, that's what I use for 6x6. 7x7. I use V-Cube 7. This one is extremely, extremely smooth. Like, it just turns so effortless. Before, it would go like that. But now it's like that. 
it doesn't take that much effort to turn it. It still could be a little bit faster, though. It does not have an adjustable core, though. And, but it's at a decent tension now because um, it's really been loosened up from its original tension. And if you ever have a V-cube and it's really stiff, one thing you can do is just solve it about a thousand times and it will get this good. It just takes a long time to do it. I probably got it this good in maybe, hmm, probably half a year. But yeah, that's how long it took me to get this one really good. So yeah, I'd recommend this. The, the other one I use is the Shang Shao, the regular size, but it's broken right now. And I would like to get a mini Shang Shao 7x7, and then it might, it might replace this. Who knows? Alright, so that's what I use for 7x7. Seven seven. Now, Pyraminx. I use this Shang Shao Pyraminx. Really good Pyraminx. And there haven't been that many Pyraminxes out that really... But if you ever get a Pyraminx, this is the one that I'd highly recommend you get. Because it sounds so good. And, um, it snaps in alignment like this. And if you're thinking about modding it, it doesn't really even need modding. All it really needs is lube and tension. And then it's already really good. So, yeah. That's what I get for Pyraminx. And, yeah, that's what I have there. Okay, next is Mega Minx. The Diamond Mega Minx with ridges. I don't do Mega Minx too much. I should get back into it a little bit. So, yeah, this is what it is. It's really fast. I also have one without ridges, but I would want to have this one because it has ridges and I'd have more grip on it. And the other one without ridges is a little bit better than this one, probably because it's been more used. But yeah, that's what I have here. So yeah, this is the Mega Minx I'd recommend. I'm thinking of getting the MF8 version 3 and or the Shang Shao Mega Minx. And that, those might replace this. Who knows? So that's what I use for um, Mega Minx in Square 1. I use an MF8 Square 1 version 2. I don't really do Square 1 that much, just like the Mega Minx. But um, this one is the one I have right now. It's the best one I have right now. I really want to get an MF8 version 1, but I can't find those anymore. If you guys happen to know of a place to buy it, let me know. Because that's the one I'd really like to get. But all square ones just aren't very good, in my opinion. Because all of them seem to fall apart, you know, because they like can come apart easily. And they don't really want to cut that, very, that good at all, so they lock up. So, yeah, that's what I use for square one right now. So, yeah. Alright, and then Scoob. I use um, a Landland Scoob. It's um, really good. It does need a little bit of lube when you first get it. But after that, it's really good. And um, I did have a Mefford Scoob, but it just wasn't very good in my opinion. It didn't really suit me. So, yeah, this is what I use. I really think they should make another Scoob that um, puts corners better. And is more controllable. So yeah. But yeah, that's what I recommend for skew. Alright, so those are all the speed cubes I use right now. And if you're wondering about clock, I don't do clock. I just have a regular Rubik's clock. Alright. I'm also going to give you a bit, of, a bit of an update of um, where I am right now. So, um, right now, um, I am now on spring break. And I'm going to have a lot more time for more videos. And, um, I'm gonna try to put out one video a day. Although, I will be gone for half of my spring break. And the only hours I'd ever have time to film those videos would be between the hours of 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. So, um, what I plan on doing is probably just record a bunch of videos before I leave, upload them, and then make them public every night when I come back. So that's what my, my plans are right now for spring break. And I know there haven't been that many videos out lately. School's just been very busy. But I'm going to be out of school at the end of May. And then I'll have a lot more time to make videos. So, yeah, that's all I have to say here. Alright. So yeah, that's all I have to say here. And um, I will see you guys on my next video.